dirty weather that the Arctic can unleash was experienced by Exercise Muskox during its three-month tour around the roof of the world. One of the most important studies made by the 50-man expedition into the polar barren lands was a meteorological survey. Better forecasts will assist agriculture and brighten the future of airline operations. Constant air support kept the force of 12 snowmobiles supplied as they plowed across barren lands, ice fields, and uncharted lakes and rivers. Only rarely did the men see any wildlife, and then it was not muskox, but herds of caribou. Eating out in the Arctic is no picnic even if you have special food prepared by experts in nutrition. The results were evident in the good health of the men at the end of their long trip. At Cambridge Bay, the men abandoned their snowmobiles for a brief spell of comparative luxury, sleeping on board the RCMP supply boat, the Saint Roche. Spring met the force as it turned south from Cambridge Bay and neared the timberline. The great 3,000-mile expedition which probed the Arctic for more of its tightly held secrets returned with a wealth of specific knowledge about a little-known country of great natural wealth. Harvests from the sea are big business in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. It's a $150,000 industry. Raked in at low tide twice a day, the Irish moss is a black, soggy mass of seaweed. The seaweed produces an extract which is used in the manufacture of hand lotion, ice cream, and to clarify beer. A single stone on Tuscot Island can yield 100 pounds of moss. Last year, 200,000 pounds were exported. When the sea harvest is dried and bleached white on the shore, it fetches a higher price at the market. The spongy weed looks like endive. By a special process, sodium alginate is extracted for use as a thickening, stabilizing, and jelly agent. Without such an ingredient, the chocolate settles out of chocolate milk. The extract is used in most lipsticks, and gives body weight to textiles. National Research Council in Ottawa puts its inventive genius to work for Canada's future. Now the story can be told of the Council's tailless aircraft or flying wing. In the huge wind tunnel, scale models are given exhaustive tests for flying performance. Here, conditions can be controlled and the designers put their theories into practice. By eliminating the fuselage and tail surfaces, the designers reduce wind resistance and attain greater lifting power. The real test comes when squadron leader Robert Cronfeld of the RAF takes the flying wing on its first flight at Edmonton, Alberta. The flying wing is constructed of molded plywood. A one-third size scale model with a wing spread of 47 feet, it has no motors but is towed into the air by a Dakota transport. On the basis of these tests with the glider model, a full-sized flying wing will be built, probably powered with jet motors. Canadian designers look to the future and build for tomorrow. Community apartments provide a real solution to the housing problem for married veterans attending the University of Saskatchewan. In these converted Air Force barracks, the serviceman and his family enjoy comparable living quarters. With his housing worries settled, he can concentrate on his academic career, and Canada gains a generation of scientists, doctors, and engineers. The apartment director discusses the day's meals with the head dietitian. These directors and the kitchen staff are the only paid help. All of the 250 people in the apartments take their meals in the cafeteria. The day nursery, financed by the community council, cares for children from two to six years old. 
furniture for the project comes from the hobby shop. Most of the spare time in a veteran's day is spent in study. John Hutchison works on a pre-meds course. Others find three heads better than one. Veterans find time to discuss the world in which we live in the Currents Event Group, where the state of the nation is debated. Saturday night is dance night at the community apartments. The desire for learning will not be stifled by poor living conditions, and these veterans solve their problems in this unique design for living.